It got contentious and even police officers had to step in. Michigan's board of canvassers meet and certify the results of the November election. Republican Secretary of State candidate Christina Caramo and others made claims of widespread fraud with no support to back it up. It also included an impassioned plea from a Republican board member. Megan Woods is following today's meeting and she's live here for us with more. Megan. Yes, today the board unanimously voted to certify the election, but the process to get to that point was chaotic. There were people shouting at the canvassers. There were people spreading misinformation. And at one point, someone had to be removed from that meeting. Take a look. Our freedom is hanging in the balance here. The Republican Secretary of State candidate who lost in the midterm elections had a lot to say at the meeting, questioning the delays in Ann Arbor election night and how those votes were still counted. I am totally against the certification of this election. The goal is to never disenfranchise any voter, but our voting rights are not just access to the ballot. It's also ensuring that we have a lawfully operated process. At times, the back and forth and difference of opinions got heated. They're in the class to say the truth. Would somebody please take the gentleman with the pink shirt out of the room? It became frustrating for the Republican chair for Michigan's board of canvassers. A lot of the questions that arise are from just lack of proper understanding, which is unfortunately fed by candidates and party officials on both sides of the aisle. He believes the solution to all of this comes from the top. We need more responsible leadership, again, on both sides of the aisle related to these issues, because it is critical that people accept the results of an election when it's all said and done. And it's important to remember the board of canvassers is made up of four members, two Democrats and two Republicans. That meeting lasted four hours, but that is the final step in uh, making this election from earlier this month official. And again, the board unanimously voted to certify the election. Reporting live, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. All right, thanks so much, Megan. It's all about the process.